Hi, I'm Mike Nagler. I'm the proud superintendent of Mineola Public Schools on Long Island. And today I want to chat a little bit about the purpose of school in the modern world. And what I mean by that is, you know, the speed of technology and innovation outside of school is uh, exponential. Every, uh, the old pr uh, premise of Moore's law where things double, the rate of a chip doubles and the information can store doubled. I think chat GPT is really honed in on the onset of AI and how it's going to affect how we teach and learn. And uh, recently wrote a book called The Dev Leader, D-E-V, which stands for Design Thinking, Entrepreneurial and Visionary Planning. And in that concept of a new leader for education is one that plans ahead and tries to prepare our students for the world they're going to enter in, because it's vastly different from the world I grew up in. In particular is how we deal with information. Chat GPT has really um, emphasized the, that information is ubiquitous. You know, our high schools are designed to produce workers in the workforce. That's the way it has been from the industrial, the previous industrial revolutions. And I don't know that the current structure of high school makes sense for the new world we live in, especially one with AI. So what are we trying to do when kids leave? Are we preparing kids for college? Are we preparing kids for entering our democracy and being citizens of a democracy? Or are we preparing children with a set of skills that will help them in all of the areas in which they may pursue outside of school? And I think that's really the emphasis I stress is how do we give them skills to work with others, to deal with technology, to be comfortable in uncertainty and ambiguity, and thrive in those situations. And I think you do that by stressing design thinking and growth mindset. We give a specific set of school uh, t skills and tools to our students that help them move ahead in the world and know it's okay to make a mistake. And when you do make a mistake, iterate on why it failed and create a new prototype and try it again and keep trying until we solve the problems that are in front of us. And in that problem solving, you need to be collaborative, you need to work with others, you need to be flexible, and you need to access resources that are available to you. One of the most important things that we don't teach in school is information literacy and how we can use the resources available to us and make sure they're valid sources and use it correctly for the problem that we're facing. So I think the leadership of schools have to change to grapple with that idea. And that's some of the things I profess in the book.